this how-to video is going to go through how to use AUKAD EDM and what AUKAD EDM is. So it's a, an engineering data management tool that's available inside of the Cadence uh, schematic capture, so AUKAD capture and PCB editor tools. And it allows you to do things like um, design control, version control, manage your libraries, um, automatically produce uh, documentation and output files and things like that. So what we'll do is we'll go through a basic flow first uh, in, in AUKAD Capture. There'll be a series of videos of this um, showing the different functionality. So we can launch AUKAD EDM in three ways. Um, we can use the, the EDM menu inside of AUKAD Capture. So we can do an EDM open EDM. There is a desktop app. So there's a, an AUKAD EDM app more related specifically to uh, for when you're working with a PCB editor and you're managing your PCB footprint libraries, et cetera. So there's the app. And then you can also access this from uh, a web browser. So if we go to a standard web browser, we get exactly the same login screen as we see on a, on a web browser. So let's just log in. So this can use your Windows login or user logins, um, and depending on how you log in, um, you'll see a list of projects. There. There's different roles, general users, project managers, and, and an administrator, which gives you the ability to set up templates and things like that. But um, I'm logged in as I have been, um, and I've got a local workspace. So basically, if we just open a, a file explorer window, we go to my working directory. Uh, I've got this local workspace, and this is this will be where any files that I work on get checked out of. If I'm checking files back in, it will look at this directory as well. So let's just go and create a new project. I'm just going to go and make a, a, a design. Uh, I've got a drop down list for kind of revision, and this can be a, a drop down list that you can manage inside of the template, or uh, you can you can just put text figures in here, I'm going to store it into a vault, into an existing kind of project group. Uh, we'll make it a capture design, and I'm just going to use the default template. So I've got a default folder structure. Um, some names, uh, and then again, project status. Again, you can make this a drop down list if you want to. We'll just uh, add all users to this. We'll give it a document number. And I'm just going to say approved by me. Um, and this is a, a, a custom field that's added so that it will auto populate in the drawing title block later on. Uh, we'll just say new project and we will add the project. It's then logging onto the vault. And then my project 19 gets created. So if we click on the project 19, you can see I've got a predetermined folder structure. So I've got an Allegro folder and a release folder. This is for my PCB and any release packages. This is for any bombs. This is for any PDFs. So um, I want to start working on this. So what we'll do is we'll do a full project download. You can see automatically I get a design 19 uh, DSM file. So the same name as the design DSM files created. Um, I can then physically go and open this file. This would then will get your okay capture. And we can start working on our design. So box down the type of title block page border um, as per the design settings. So let's just place a couple of parts, just to be very random. And start working on my design. Not a real schematic, but just uh, just to give you a quick idea, and we'll maybe place a couple of uh, resistors. Okay, so very, very basic design, uh, not a real design, but just something to just show you. Obviously, I'm placing parts in AUKAD Capture using the data CIS database. Um, I'm then going to save my design and then we'll do a close. And if I go back to uh, AUKAD EDM, 
what I can do is I've got this check-in button. So it finds my design file needs to be checked in, and that's basically working from if I go to this local workspace. So I've got admin, there's the design name, there's the project folder. So there's the project folder that it created for me that I can work on. This is my local working space. So I want to check this file in. I can keep it checked in if I want to. I did want to give it a status, so maybe I'm, it's, a, it's a work in progress. And then what I'm going to do in this scenario is I'm going to auto generate a bomb and I'm going to auto generate a PDF. Um, let's update the schematic title block as well. Um, we can also add a comment to this or we can use the auto comment, which will just give me the, the number of parts and nets and parts changed, etc. So let's just check this in. So there's my design checked in, uh, and if we have a look under all the folders, so it's automatically generated a, uh, a PDF and an Excel file for me, or a BOM file for me. Um, you'll notice this is now up to date. There's my current status. It's been checked in my admin. I've got a version number. If I click on the history, I can actually start to see the history. It gives me the, the, the comments from the history location. Let's just go and open the PDF. Just have a quick look at that. So this uses the standard uh, PDF commands. The intelligent PDF inside of Walker Capture, so I get my intelligent PDF information. Let's just uh, zoom in on the title block. So it's automatically added my drawing number for me. Um, the design name gets added by the title block. Let's look at the bottom. So from a bomb point of view, obviously I've got a template, so I can actually have a predetermined template. It puts my drawing number in, in my revision, my date. Um, all the address information. There's the parts that I've used. Um, so I'm kind of good to go with this. So let's uh, let's not save this. So let's go and uh, make another modification to this. Maybe I'm going to take the design and come in the next day. Uh, I want to select the design and I want to check it out now. So let's check the file out. Um, it's going to check out some additional files as well. So let's do that. So you can see it's actually now been checked out by admin, who's that's the person I'm logged in as, and I can kind of then. Um, work on the design again. So we'll go and do an open. And just for speed, let's just do a copy and a paste. We'll save the design and we'll close it again. Back to EDM, we'll do a check in. So it wants to check the design bar file back in again. Maybe I've finished my design now. And I can auto generate the bottom of the PDF. So we'll just click on check in. So again, if we start to look at the history now, um, let's do a history. Um, you can see revision two and revision three. It's modify, it's added the additional parts. I can actually physically download um, both of these if I want to. I can do a design compare with both of these if I want to. If I look at my bomb, so let's just go and open the materials again. Um, the quantities have gone up, so it's kind of working its way through. It's keeping up to date with the design that I've got. Um, so a really useful um, addition to the AutoCAD tools um, to allow you to manage your design.